Hey, welcome back. In this video, I want to go over a couple examples on complex number division. So the way that we go about solving these types of problems is we basically just want to reduce the denominator to a real number. Uh, we want to get rid of this imaginary unit out of there. And to do that, we multiply the conjugate of the denominator to the, the denominator and also the numerator. That way we're multiplying the whole thing by one. So in that case, we would have, um, we would multiply it like this. We have negative three minus 4i, and then we multiply the top as well by the same thing, negative 3 minus 4i. So when we go to simplify this, we now have just a complex number multiplication in the numerator and a complex number multiplication in the denominator. And if you remember, when we have, um, for complex numbers, if we have a plus bi, times a minus bi. This is going to reduce down to just a squared plus b squared. But let's take a look and make sure that this actually does happen. So first of all, on the top, we have negative, or two times negative three is negative six, and two times negative four i is minus eight i. We have five times negative three, so we have minus 15 i and then five times negative four i, so we have minus 20 i on the top. On the bottom, we have negative three times negative three, so that is nine. Negative three times negative four, so that is plus 12 i. Four times negative three, so that is minus 12 i. And uh, sorry, that was 20 i squared. That was supposed to be squared up there. And then four times negative four i times negative four i is minus sixteen i squared. So we can simplify this again a little bit more. So we have negative six. Uh, we have eight i negative eight i minus fifteen i. That is negative twenty three i. And then minus twenty i squared. So that is minus twenty times negative one. And then on the bottom we have nine uh, plus. 12i minus 12i, so those go away, and then minus 16i, and i is negative 1, so just like that. So we can combine this a little bit. We have negative 6 plus 20, which is positive 14, minus 23i. And on the bottom we have 9 plus 16, which is over 25. And we can just put this in a form that works for complex numbers. So we have 14 over 25 for our real part. And then our imaginary part is negative 23 over 25 times the imaginary unit of i. So really, effectively, we did reduce the denominator to a squared plus b squared, where we had a squared is, well, a was negative 3, so negative 3 squared is 9. And b is 4, uh, so 4 squared is 16. And we had 9 plus 16, so we, are, we did have a squared plus b squared. So this will work every time for our complex number division. We always want to be multiplying the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. So let's solve the next one here. We want to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. So we have negative 3 minus 2i on the top. We multiply that to the top, and we also multiply it to the bottom, minus 3 minus 2i. Okay. So the top simplifies to negative 45, and then 15 times uh, negative 2i is minus 30i, and then we have uh, plus 3i, and then we have plus 2i squared. And then the bottom, we can just skip right to a squared plus b squared, because we, we know that that's going to happen, so we have over 9 plus Okay, this reduces a little bit more, so we have negative 45 uh, minus 27i. Uh, this goes to minus 2, because we have plus 2 times negative 1, so that's minus 2. And this is all over 13. So we can just write this in the form where we have the real part and the imaginary part, and that is going to be negative 47 over 13 minus 27 over 13 times the imaginary unit. Okay, moving along to the next example, we're going to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. So we have four minus two i. Let's clean that up a little bit, two i 
times negative 4 minus 2i. Okay, so the top here is going to simplify a little bit to, we have 4 times negative 4, so we have negative 16 minus 8i uh, minus 16i minus 8i squared. And this is all over a squared plus b squared, so a is negative 4, so we have 16 plus 4. Okay, so this simplifies to negative 16 minus 24i um, plus 8 all over 20. So we can combine this negative 16 and the 8, we get negative 8 minus 24i all over 20. We can simplify that a little bit uh, to a negative 2 minus 6i all over 5. And then lastly, we can put it in the appropriate form for a complex number. So we have negative 2 fifths minus 6 fifths times i. And let's rip through the last example here. You're going to see that actually nothing really special happens if we divide a number by its conjugate. Um, but what we're going to have to do here is we're still going to have to multiply by the conjugate of the bottom. So we have 3 plus 2i and times 3 plus 2i. So the top here we have 9 plus 6i plus 6i um, plus 4i squared, and then on the bottom we have a squared plus b squared, so we have 9 plus 4. Okay, so this is, becomes 9 plus 12i minus 4. We can set that all over 9 plus 4, which is 13. So we just get here, we have 5 over 13 plus 12 over 13 times the imaginary unit, which is the quotient of 3 plus 2i over 3 minus 2i. So there you go. That's how you divide complex numbers. You always multiply by the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the bottom, uh, effectively taking the imaginary unit out of the bottom and simplifying it into a multiplication of complex numbers problem.